Good evening, it's Facebook Love. How are you today? Monday, Monday the 11th of May marks eight weeks since I have uh, been working from home. How long have you been home? <sighs> That's a long time. Um, it's a beautiful, chilly spring day. We had rain all day yesterday, so the new flowers are looking particularly happy. The apple blossoms look like they're gonna bust open. Those are all good things. Um, and the news can be quite grim and make me feel a bit off balance, but today I'm, I'm holding steady. Today I'm holding steady, I hope you are as well. Um, I have a few poems for you today, one from a poet you may never have heard of, um, new to me, and another by Yeats, which even people who don't read poetry have, have heard of Yeats. Um, I don't know what else I have to say except that um, both of these poems have to do with the small things that are lovely in the face of large, awful things. And uh, as I've regained my equilibrium and my equanimity, which is a word that I spent some time focusing on through yoga practice last month, um, as I gained those things again, which is something that I'm learning I have to do over and over, one of the things that pulls me back is the beautiful small things, even in the face of the big, not so great things. Um, this first one is called My 18-month-old daughter talks to the rain as the Amazon burns by Dante Di Stefano. Um, as some poets do, this poet has shared a quote before the poem begins. Lark of my house, keep laughing from Miguel Hernandez. My 18-month-old daughter talks to the rain as the Amazon burns. This little lark says hi to the rain. She calls river as she slaps the air with both wings. She doesn't know pine from ash or cedar from linden. She greets drizzle and downpour alike. She doesn't know iceberg from melt can't say sea level rise, glacial retreat, doesn't know wildfire, greenhouse gas, carbon tax or emission, does not legislate a fear she can't yet feel, only knows cats and birds and small dogs and the sway of some tall trees make her squeal with delight. It shakes her tiny body this thrill of the love, this thrill of the live electric sudden, the taste of wild blueberries on her tongue, the ache of thorn prick from blackberry bush. Oh, dear girl, look here. There's so much to save. Moments, ladybugs, laughter, trillium, blue jays, arias, Horizon's pink hue. We gather lifetimes on one small petal. The river's our friend, the world, an atom. Daughter, another name for hope, rain. Change begins when you hail the sky, sun, and wind, the verdure inside your heart's four chambers. Even garter snakes and unnamed insects in the underbrush as you would a love that rivers. Hi. Hi. My 18-month-old daughter talks to the rain as the Amazon burns. By Dante Di Stefano. This one is called The Stairs Nest by My Window, by
by W. B. Yeats. The bees build in the crevices of loosening masonry, and there the mother birds bring grubs and flies. My wall is loosening. Honeybees come build in the empty house of the stair. We are closed in and the key is turned on our uncertainty. Somewhere a man is killed or a house burned, yet no clear fact to be discerned. Come build in the empty house of the stair. A barricade of stone or of wood, some 14 days of civil war. Last night they trundled down the road that dead young soldier in his blood, come build in the empty house of the stair. We have fed the heart on fantasies, the heart's grown brutal from the fair, more substance in our en enmities than in our love. O oh, honeybees, come build in the empty house of the stair. The Stairs Nest by My Window by W.B. Yeats. I, uh, I watched a video earlier this morning. Um, I can't think of her last name. Her name is Nadia and she's a pretty radical uh, ELCA minister in Colorado and she, um, she preaches a pretty, pretty mean sermon um, and she was talking today about an idea that I've learned from therapist friends that uh, when you're struggling, it's really important to look at the truth. That if you're just uh, sort of ignorantly optimistic, you're just going to keep getting your heart broken. But if you can keep your... Well, that's never happened. My phone rang. If you can keep your sense that you're going to prevail alongside your sense that something pretty awful is happening and that you have to endure it, you can hold two truths that seem to oppose each other at the same time. And I think that's what it's like to, uh, to see the small wonderful things at the same time that you recognize the hard things. Uh, when I was finished listening to her speak, I thought very hard about what art does, what our culture is. It's music and dance and painting and words and drama and comedy and music. And I decided that even if I don't feel like it and even if my throat is aching, I'm just gonna sing. And last night after dinner on Mother's Day, my husband and I sat down with his guitar and my list of American standards that I like to sing. And for an hour, we just sang and played songs and it was glorious. And it pushed all the other stuff away. So I give you that. This is Facebook Love. I'll see you tomorrow.